In this video today, I'm going to tell you how what happened last year caused this year to be the best year of my life ever, or so far in my lifetime. Are you okay? Are you enjoying joining me? Are you not happy to see the GoPro? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, my name is Ash. And noisy one here is Quaffle. This is my Payona's parrot. She is a very noisy girl, aren't you? And she does not like the GoPro, so she will be screaming a lot during this video. I also do apologize. I don't look my best today. I don't really care right now. I have been trying to make this video for about six months and so I'm finally getting around to it. So if you have seen my last video, which was quite annoyingly emotional, you will know that last year wasn't the best year of my life. In fact, it was probably the worst and most terrifying and fearful years of my life. It doesn't really matter if you have or haven't watched it. If you want to go check it out, it's there. It's kind of boring. She agrees. When Will Smith started making YouTube videos, something he said actually struck me quite hard in the heart. And that was that the best things in life are on the other side of fear. And that is actually quite accurate. That is, I have found this year, hi, hi Lyra. Meet Lyra. So he said the best things in life live on the other side of fear. So after the events of last year, I might... I my 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 I my my I my 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 my. As a result, my fear bucket list was created. A list of things I want to do, want to do really badly, but I'm too afraid to do. I made myself a promise that this year, 2022, anything that scared me, anything at all that I wanted to do, but I was too scared to do, it would then be my mission to do it. Get away. Or another way to say it is that I wasn't going to let fear stop me from pursuing my dreams. Hi, this is Lyra. She is the latest addition to the Payona's Tales. If you don't know what the Payona's Tales is, that is Quaffle and Lyra's personal YouTube channel. If you want to go check that out on their adventures, I'll leave a link in the description below. There will be a lot of random flapping, especially with Lyra. So one of the things that I have always wanted to do my whole life is start my own business, specifically working with animals or working in animal care of some form. I have ought to work with my... Uh, now I am working with animals in a sense. I'm working with animals in another sense. I am now no longer allowed to be afraid. I'm allowed to be afraid, but I am not allowed to let that fear stop me. So after all the events of last year, one of the very first things on my list was to start working with animals. I had tried my entire life to work with animals and nothing of ever worked. And someone suggested to me, why not try starting your own business? And that was one of the scariest things in the world for me. Like going solo, having to rely on... Rude. The thought of that was terrifying, which meant I had to try and do it. And this was the biggest hurdle because this was me trying to overcome fear for the first time. The fear of the unknown, the fear of failure, the fear of something going wrong, the so many different fears all in one go. And I tried, I tried so hard to start my own business, but it was just far too scary. I was watching a guy called the Electric Dog Walker. He was a dog walker here in the UK and he just started a course to help people start their own own dog walking business. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really skeptical and really scared and really terrified. I decided to go for it because that was my new rule. That was my new motto is I had to at least try and go for it. It was scary because it might make my life better, but it might also fail. I signed up for the course and I'm not even gonna lie, I nearly backed out about 20 times. I was so scared. I was hitting so many brick walls. Brick wall after brick wall after brick wall. I don't have the confidence to do this. Financially, I had things going wrong. My car needed to going for a pair. So many things were stopping me from achieving this goal. And I very nearly quit. I very nearly gave up so many times, so many times. My mentor just encouraged me to push through, push through, push through. Stop looking at the brick wall. Look around the brick wall. Can you get around it? Can you go under it? Can you go over it? Is there a ladder nearby to help you climb it? Is there a rope nearby to help you climb it? Find some way around it. And if it wasn't for their reassurance and for their motivation to push me to keep going, I I would have never started my own business. Mm -mm -mm. I would have not. I would have failed at the first hurdle. But instead, that person helped me overcome my fear. Massively helped me overcome my fear to a point where I have been running a successful dog walking business for nearly a whole year. I am earning more doing this business. Still struggling financially because the price increases and everything else going on, but I am earning more this year than I have ever earned on minimum wage. And I could not be happier. I get to work with some amazing clients and amazing dogs 
dogs that are just so happy to see me every single day and it just fills me with joy seeing them run around happy and it feels so great to have somewhat control over my life. I've hit burnout quite a few times but it's been worth every single second. Once I overcame the challenge of starting my own business and not only overcome the fear, overcome the challenge and then for it to go successful, that then gave me, yes, yes that, the confidence to pursue my other dream. So the next one in line was I wanted to do the JLPT since I first started learning Japanese and I've never ever had the confidence to go for the test even so blah 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 blah. I probably could have taken the N5 last year and I was too scared. I was too fearful. I wouldn't take study seriously because I'd convinced myself that I wasn't going to pass before I'd even tried. But at the start of this year around when was it? February? I swallowed my fear quite literally. I was terrified during the entire application process and I applied for the JLPT N5 beginner level and I got in. <laughs> And I was so scared because not only did I have to apply, I now had to go to London to do the test. Do you have any idea how scary it is for someone who's only ever been to London once in their life to need to go to London on their own, find the location that you have to go to and then take a goddamn test? That is goddamn scary. But July came around, I went down to London, I took the test and then it was a very, very, very long agonizing wait, but I didn't care. I'd conquered that fear, done something I was terrified of. I'd taken the JLPT N5 test. I'd gone to London. I'd traveled to London on my own. I'd done something that I didn't think I was capable of, which sounds really stupid. Going down somewhere on your own to do a test, that's so easy. Yeah, not when you're terrified of getting lost and getting kidnapped and a lot of other things. Even so, I overcame a massive fear that day to go down and do that test. That then gave me the motivation to try the third scariest thing. And something I have wanted to try since I've been about four years old was to become a mermaid. Yeah, sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? I've been swimming since I was a little girl. I used to pretend so much that I was a mermaid swimming underwater as a kid. Then in 2011, someone actually became the world's first ever professional mermaid. It's something I'd always wanted to try. Hi Lyra, that was my childhood dream was to be a mythical creature. Now you're telling me it can be a thing? It can not only be a thing, it can be a job? Yes, please. But again, fear stopped me and imposter syndrome stopped me. The amount of thoughts in my head stopping me from trying was you're not pretty enough to be a mermaid because you don't have the typical beauty standards. And then as mermaiding has become more popular, it's become more accepting to be any size, any race, any color, any age. The mermaiding community is so accepting of every single person that comes into it. I was terrified. I was scared, but I started researching how to become a mermaid. I found multiple places where you can do mermaid courses, mermaid training, but none of them actually had anything going on because of COVID. They'd all stopped. They'd all had the venues cancelled and everything. No one could become a mermaid right now. Great. There's my roadblock stopping me from following my dreams again. And then I remembered my business mentor's thing of find a way around the blockade. So I carried on Googling. I carried on searching and I actually found out people can get into an aquarium and swim with the fish as a mermaid. What? I did not know this was a thing until like two years ago, pre like just before COVID. I was so excited. I wanted to try this more than anything. And again, those fears hit of you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You'll never be able to do that. That's way too hard. And then I came across performance mermaids and they were still doing mermaid training for aquariums. They were doing specifically aquarium mermaid training. And I was thinking, to myself, that's what I want to do. Aquarium level mermaid, not just a hobby mermaid. Aquarium level mermaid is a big deal. It's an actual job. I could get paid to be a mermaid. At the same time, that's damn scary. I don't know if I'm going to be good enough for this. And that's when I realized I was afraid of it, which means even though it was scary and terrifying and I was literally ripping my face out out of fear, I had to try it. It was a dream. It was a goal. It was something I've wanted to do my whole life. I've been too scared to do. Had too much negativity in my head. I got in touch with Ape Nice UK. They told me all the different rigmarole that was involved to become a professional mermaid and there is so much. So I'm just sat there going, that is a lot. Am I really capable of this? Fear kept building and building and building. That fear of, I'm not going to be good enough. I'm not going to be able to do this. This is too scary. So I pushed through the fear and I kept pushing and pushing and pushing and my nerves were at their end. And I've gone through, what are you doing about there? Six, seven, eight months worth of training. And then in October, I completed my training. I got to go in an aquarium for the first time. 
and it was the most wonderful experience of my life. And I do mean the most wonderful experience of my life. I was so happy and I loved performing at the window and I loved being in the water with the rays and the sharks and the fish and the water was just so peaceful. I literally could have done that all day. It was the best feeling in the world. And then on top of that, I've also become a qualified free diver, which means that I get to go out diving locations and going out on diving trips and stuff, whatever the hell I like, so long as I've got a safety buddy. And that really gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me a lot of soul and heart and made me feel like life is worth living again. This last year, so far, I have conquered, how many fears have I conquered Quaffle? Starting my own business, doing the JLPT M5, becoming a qualified free diver to allow me to perform in aquariums one day. I've done something else as well and I can't think what the other thing is. That's just three major fears. This has now given me the motivation for one of my other biggest fears, which has been on this channel for a long time. I've just never ever pursued it because it's always been too scary. I've started the training, panic and stop. And that's to get onto Ninja Warrior by 2026. That is still very much a goal. It is still very much a dream. It's still very much a desire and something I am aiming for. This channel is still gonna be my memory channel, my blog channel, but it's going to involve mermaiding, free diving, parrots, but they've got their own channel. So you can go check them out whenever you want. Ninja Warrior training, hopefully one day Ninja Warrior and just genuinely me overcoming my fears whenever the hell possible. Like another fear I overcame just the other day, the rolling log. Have you ever seen the rolling log at Ninja Parks? It is fecking terrifying. So many people struggle with it. And it's been one of my biggest fears for as long as I can remember. And the other day I fecking conquered it for the first time in my life. And I was so excited and so happy and I didn't get it on video. <sighs> I was not happy about that. But that was again, another fear I conquered. If you want to see more videos of free diving, mermaiding, traveling, vlogs, parrots, ninja warrior training, or if you just like the idea of following someone that is doing their best to overcome their fears and achieve their dreams, or even mermaid training, how I became a professional mermaid, follow me on my journey of craziness that I am currently pursuing. <laughs> and hopefully you will enjoy my future videos as well. If you like those kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe give this video a like so I can see who's excited for future videos from me, from Lyra and from Quaffle. Goodbye!